Chief Minister Anbiran Singh today visited Sinamkom and Sanjanlok villages to inspect the ongoing drilling works of groundwater schemes taken up by the Minor Irrigation Department to enhance irrigation water facility. In all 550 groundwater tube wells and 375 surface irrigation schemes are being taken up in different parts of the state under Jal Shakti and Pradhan Mantri Kushi Sinchai Yojana, Harket Kopani. One person was killed and another critically injured after a two-wheeler on which they were traveling collided with a speeding Tata truck this morning on National Highway 102 in Falmore Road. The fatal accident happened in front of the main gate of 16th Assam Rifles Post located at Lilong, a report said. CPI Kangabok Local Council observed birth anniversary of Irabot birth anniversary today at Kangabok Awang Lekai. Tampa Shanglen and Tokchom Ajoba Library were inaugurated during the function. They also planted saplings and paid floral tribute to Hijam Irabot. A book titled Miyam Giluchingba Irabot was also released on the occasion. Residents of Taubal Ningombam today formed a farmers group called Salaicha Lomi Loop with the principal aim to increase productivity. Ace boxer Lysram Sarita today appealed that sports should be promoted at the highest level to save the new generation from the clutches of drug. The former world champion was attending the Fit India Freedom Run at Lamphal Park organized by 143 CRPF. India today recorded 82,170 fresh cases of the coronavirus disease, which pushed the nationwide tally to above 60 lakh according to Union Health Ministry update on this morning. The latest million cases came in just 11 days. According to reports, out of the 60 lakh 74,703 cases, 9 lakh 62,640 are active cases, while 50 lakh 16,521 patients have been cured or discharged from hospitals, the health ministry data showed. With 248 new COVID-19 cases, the total case tally in Manipur increased to 10,299. In the past 24 hours, 180 persons from the general population and 68 personnel from the Central Armed Police Forces CAPF, were confirmed to be positive of the respiratory disease. Imphal West reported the highest single-day spike at 105. In the past 24 hours, 195 persons were cured and discharged. The number of active cases stands at 2,359 while a total of 7,876 persons have recovered. The death toll stands at 66 in the state and the recovery rate is 76.47% as of this afternoon. AICC Indian Youth Congress National Secretary and Manipur in charge Sarifa Raman today said that Prime Minister Narendra Modi has ignored the problem of unemployment and poverty in the country and that no clear-cut policy has been formulated till date to solve this problem. He was addressing media at the Congress Bhavan in Imphal. Four MLAs of National People's Party and PP Manipur Unit returned home this morning after meeting Party National President and Meghalaya Chief Minister Konrad K. Sangma and NEDA convener Dr. Himanta Biswa Sarma. The MLAs simply told reporters that they had met Konrad K. Sangma and Dr. Himanta Biswa Sarma and refused to comment on any political development. Education Minister S. Rajan CAF and PD Minister T.H. Saitya Bharta and Social Welfare Minister O. Henry were given a warm reception by Manipur Democratic Alliance MDA by presenting simple gifts to them at a simple function. MDA convener M. Tombi held the Biran government for inducting the new ministers into his cabinet, saying it was the right stand for the betterment of the people of Manipur.